Hello and welcome back to UIE TV. Please like and subscribe to channel to get further videos directly in your inbox. Jack Charlton Funeral, Thousands Line Ashington Streets Thousands of people lined the streets of football great Jack Charlton's hometown to pay their respects ahead of his funeral. Former Republic of Ireland boss Charlton, who won the World Cup playing for England, died on 10 July aged 85. He was born in Ashington, Northumberland, and often returned to the former mining town. Well-wishers applauded and cheered as the cortege passed through the streets, with many waving flags and banners. People threw flowers on the hearse as it passed slowly through the town where he and his younger brother Sir Bobby honed their football skills. The procession slowed as it passed close to the terraced house on Beatrice Street, where the Charltons once lived and played in the back lane. Floral tributes in the hearse included a football and a Red England shirt with Jackie Five on it. The cortege then made its way to a private service and a crematorium in Newcastle, where just 20 relatives were expected to attend due to coronavirus restrictions. The former Leeds United defender, who was part of England's 1966 World Cup winning side, had been diagnosed with lymphoma in recent years. In more than 20 years with Leeds, he made 773 appearances and won the 1969 league title and the 1972 FA Cup. Many will know now that, as a family, we wanted to give local people the opportunity to say goodbye to Jack, and pay their respects before he's laid to rest, his son John said. Jack was incredibly proud of his hometown, which is why we made the decision to take the funeral cortege around Ashington. As soon as the funeral car appeared, the hundreds of people on Alexandra Road started to applaud and cheer. One of the town's most famous sons was home. A Northumberland piper accompanied the cortege part of the way. It was a tribute that brought his family to tears. These are strange times. The family requested that people kept their distance from each other and wore a mask. Despite the pandemic, everybody here left their home or took the morning off work to pay their respects. That's how much he is loved in this part of the world. They all have a story about Jack Charlton too, a time he turned up at the local pub, or when he shared his packed lunch when he was out fishing. Football defined him, but his personality also made him a local hero. Peter Mather, a 68-year-old semi-retired bricklayer, stood on the route of the funeral with a sign saying Ho Way War Jack. He said, I lived over the road from here and I vividly remember watching the World Cup final. At the final whistle, he went to his knees, a big hard man like that showing such emotion. I'll never forget it. The funeral procession left the child and family home in Dalton, Northumberland, and was met by a police escort in Ashington before going along New Biggin Road into the town centre. It stopped outside Hearst Welfare Centre, where Charlton and his younger brother Sir Bobby played football as children. The cortege then travelled to the Newcastle crematorium for the private service. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment. See you in next video. Stay tuned.